When a local woman discovered her cell phone had been stolen, she was understandably upset. No doubt, but when she found that stolen phone a few minutes later, that's when she really became furious, and she immediately contacted 13 Investigates. Our senior investigative reporter Bob Siegel is with us tonight with a story every cell phone owner should see. This story caught our attention for two reasons. First, local police say what happened to this woman is happening to others as well. And they say if your phone is stolen, the only way to get it back is for you to get a crucial piece of information from your phone right now. Coming this way. If you see a lady in downtown Indy walking her cat, that would be Abby Simpson and Arnold. He does so good down here. The cars don't bother him at all. Abby and Arnold were taking their afternoon walk a few weeks ago when Abby discovered the cell phone in her pocket was not in her pocket. You know, oh man, I'm missing something. I'm just gone. She quickly activated the phone's Find My iPhone feature and saw it was less than a half mile away. And I was like, okay, so my phone's on the move. So we're going to hunt this down. She followed the signal and it led her here to Circle Center Mall. Inside, she pinpointed the location of her phone straight ahead. And I saw the kiosk and I said, that's where my phone is. Hi there, I'm Eco. That kiosk is called an Eco ATM. Any phone, instant cash for phones. There are about 4,000 of these machines across the country, including more than 50 Eco ATMs here in central Indiana, located in Kroger stores, Walmarts, and in shopping malls. It's a way to recycle your old cell phone and walk away with some quick cash. But in Abby's case, someone else got the cash because Eco ATM bought her stolen cell phone. She knows that because when she tried calling the phone, she could hear it ringing inside this machine. Just knowing you can get quick cash after stealing something and it doesn't have to be your phone, it just invites that kind of criminal behavior. Abby's story is not unique. Here, come take a look at this. When it comes to these types of machines, uh, the Indianapolis Metropolitan Police Department says they've actually tracked at least 40 stolen phones to Eco ATMs in just the past four months. Cities like Baltimore and Riverside, California, they've banned the kiosks because they claim they actually encourage theft. We're not part of the problem, we're part of the solution. Kevin Harris is an Eco ATM attorney. He told me the company takes several security measures to deter criminals from selling and profiting from stolen cell phones. Measures like requiring sellers to provide a fingerprint and a photo ID, and comparing that picture to photos taken at the kiosk. Eco ATM also checks the serial number of each device. And if it's on a national database of stolen phones, Eco ATM says it won't buy it. We've recycled over 23 million devices. A very, very small fraction of those devices has ever had to be recalled and sent back to law enforcement. There's an eco ATM. But local police tell 13 Investigates they're still dealing with stolen phones at these kiosks on a weekly basis. Avon police have tracked some phones down to these machines. That's correct. Brian Nugent is deputy chief of investigations at the Avon Police Department. He says figuring out how many stolen phones can be traced to these machines is nearly impossible. We have reservations about them. I mean, to understand how many devices may have actually been sold that were stolen, the truth is we may never know. Here's why. While Eco ATMs run each phone serial number to make sure it's not stolen, there's usually a delay of hours, days, or even weeks before a stolen phone serial number shows up in the system. And criminals know that. Well, a lot of times when these incidents happen, the criminals are breaking into vehicles, they're stealing them from purses, or they're taking them from people, perhaps during a robbery, and they are immediately running to these locations to sell these items. But they have to move quickly if they want to make a profit off of a stolen item. In Abby's case, her phone was sold to the Eco ATM less than 45 minutes after it was stolen, well before police could show up, let alone enter her serial number into a crime database. I actually consider myself really fortunate Abby says she's lucky because she noticed her phone was missing right away and she was able to immediately track its location. That quick action paid off. Yeah, it's nice to have it back. After a few weeks, Eco ATM did send back Abby's phone along with a gift card for her troubles. But like some police departments, Abby is still skeptical of these machines. People who want quick cash, they'll do anything to get it. And it's very easy to steal a phone. Anyone can do that. Eco ATM points out it keeps all phones for at least 30 days. So if it does have a stolen phone, the company should be able to reunite that device with its owner if 
it's reported quickly. Here's the tricky part. Do you know the serial number of your cell phone? It's called an IMEI number, and most of us have no idea what it is or where to find it. Police say knowing that number and reporting it to police as quickly as you possibly can is the single most important thing you can do to help get a stolen phone back. We've got easy instructions on how to find your phone's IMEI number at WTHR.com backslash phone. So track it down, write it down, and keep it in a safe place. Hopefully you won't need it, but if you do, time is of the essence. Unbelievable story. Yeah, Thank you so story. much for that.